Happy Halloween, everyone! This year, as ever, I'm carving a pumpkin based on one of the Halloween movies. Also, folks, stay tuned for my annual pumpkin pie baking video as well. So far, I've made jack-o'-lanterns based on iconic pumpkin designs from Halloween 1 to 4, also Halloween 6, mostly going in order here. I'll link the playlist for those videos somewhere. I think YouTube is getting rid of on-screen cards. If they are, boo. If not, excuse my mistake. Anyway, this year's pumpkin is based on Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Yay. Seriously though, I don't hate this movie. Is it bad? Yes. Roughly two-thirds of it is. But I love the third act. Yes, I love it. Call me crazy. My history with this movie is the first time I saw it was late at night at a friend's house for a sleepover. We weren't old enough to watch it, and that's where the excitement of often seeing these things comes from. And I thought it was terrifying. <sighs> For a kid. In retrospect, still stuff I like in it. I have a soft spot for it, but it's awkwardly constructed. It's like the movie shrugged its shoulders at the word plot. People hate the new Halloween movies, but those movies get the character of Michael right, even if Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends don't use Michael in the story very well. Like Halloween 5, in fact. You will hear my thoughts on the whole Michael Myers plus Halloween 3 saga someday, but I'll say just here that while the new films aren't always great, this whole franchise is full of hits and misses, so I'm not that phased should they ever make a bad Halloween film, and people shouldn't be that upset by this fact. It's a tough franchise to do that much with that's original. I hear that at least one new Halloween movie is in negotiation to be made. You see, I told you 12 months ago there would be more. <clears throat> anyway, to that end, and this goes back to Halloween 5, I hope that the new movies have iconic pumpkin designs in them, as a number of them either don't or don't directly, like Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, and both Rob Zombie films. The recent Blumhouse David Gordon Green films do, but then others don't. Feels like some of the October season Halloween charm is missing somewhat, so do that and I'll be happy. Also, tell a good story if at all possible. When and if I carve more pumpkins based on the series, I'll need to get more creative with how I do them, consulting my old notes and studying the new films. So Halloween 5, the title sequence is pretty good, the quick cutting, wink wink, is iconic to me, more so than the pumpkin design with the big wide eyes. It's a little generic and too dimly lit to my eyes, but the idea of this feels closer to the DNA of the original, plus some of the other sequels. The quick cutting was kind of a prelude to what was done in Halloween 6, with the MTV Generation crazy edit. <laughs> So I'll give Halloween 5 that much, this feels tense. This doesn't. Okay folks, enjoy. 